which controller is right for you? Let's talk about it. So uh, this is by far the most asked question that I've gotten on this channel or questions either about what controller I'm using or which controller you should be using or if there are any advantages to switching controllers. So we're, we're going to talk about all of that right now. Let's just go ahead and hop on into it. So ironically, I'd like to start at the end and talk about the most modern and also the most controversial controllers. So on the screen right now, I have a typical hitbox, I have a cross up and I have a mix box. And the thing that sets these controllers apart from some of their counterparts is that they are what I would call SOCD enabling controllers. And so SOCD stands for simultaneous opposite cardinal directions. But basically what it means is that they're able to push two opposite directions at the same time. So if you look at a mix box, the thing that makes it unique is that it's got these little keycaps here, uh, but you could theoretically push both this left button and this right button at the same time or the down button and the up button at the same time. Same thing over here, just a quick explanation of what this is. You have your left button, a down button, I almost said middle button, right button, and your up. Your up is on your thumb um, because some people value basically having a direction on each digit rather than having like your middle finger swap between two buttons here. But in any case, you're also able to push both left and right at the same time and you're also able to push uh, down and up at the same time. Now, a cross-up is the controller that I'm hearing and that you could loudly hear playing in every video where I am playing the video game. Maybe I'll eventually address that, but some of you like it, I don't know. Uh, let me know what you think about that. But anyway, uh, here you have your traditional stick, which might throw you off, but there's also four directional buttons that are sort of on the edges of the fighting buttons, I'll call them. Uh, so again, this is going to be your up, left, down, and right. So SOCD, being able to push two opposite directions, its benefits might not be super apparent, but there are tons and tons of practical applications of it. And I promise you that it's, it's bullshit, it's cheating, right? Uh, but it's only cheating until we look at a pad, right? What do you notice about this pad? I mean, technically, this has both a D-pad and the left stick on it. So what was happening was, controller players had an advantage that traditional stick players didn't have access to. It wasn't a technique that was available to them. So if we go and look at an arcade stick, uh, right like this one, uh, there is no way to push this lever in two opposite directions at the same time. It's just not possible, right? So pad players had innovated this new technology that was just in, it was really hard to do. It was really hard to execute. But if you were able to do it, it was a distinct advantage that only you were capable of doing. And so we, in an arms race, invented these controllers to be able to just give box style, box controller users the ability to do the same techniques that pad players were doing. But I'll just be completely transparent with you. I think it's way easier of an expectation to have you doing SOCD techniques on a controller like this than it is on a pad. Like hooking your hands in the way that you would need to be able to, to do it and still inputting precise inputs at the same time is like a really difficult skill that you have to hone. And I, I have to imagine it gives you like arthritis and like hand problems and stuff. I, I, it's got to, right? There's no, there's no way it doesn't. So this will be controversial because I think a lot of other content creators are going to tell you that, you know, you should just use whatever you want to use. But I do believe that these type of controllers have a distinct advantage, sure in Tekken, but really these have applications that are widespread in, in multiple different games. Some games have like different policies on SOCD and how they have to function in your controller. The CPT comes to mind for Street Fighter VI, but I think by and large, these controllers do give you a distinct advantage. One thing that I will say is that if we're talking about like today, the best controller that you could use today is the one that you're most comfortable using. Learning to use any of these peripherals has its own learning curve and its own skill curve to it um, that's going to take time. It's not going to feel intuitive moving from a pad to a hitbox or even from an arcade stick to a hitbox. It just doesn't, it just doesn't work that way. You're not going to do it on day one. Is the investment worth it for you? I don't know. That's that's your call. And so if you're like somebody who's getting beat up in green rank or yellow rank and you're getting frustrated and you're thinking to yourself, maybe it's my controller. Like if I switch controllers, maybe I'll be able to deal with this. I promise you the only thing that you're doing to yourself is stacking frustration on to frustration. Like any of these controllers could deliver you to very, very high ranks in any game you want to play. And that's why people emphasize to you that you should use whatever controller that you like the most. But 
if I'm gonna be real and honest with you, I do I do think that these controllers offer a distinct advantage. Otherwise, I, I'll just keep it a buck. I wouldn't be using this. I would not be using a cross up. I would be using a, probably like a traditional sorry a traditional stick still because that's what I enjoyed using the most and kind of it's it's the way that I still use my cross up. Like unless I'm in a situation where I'm going to do like an SOCD enabling thing. I, I usually just use it as like a regular stick. I really don't use that feature too, too often. Another thing that I wanna briefly mention before we close out the video is that I do think that there is something to be said about this style of like very digital input versus like, this is still digital because it's just hitting switches in it, but I'm gonna refer to it as an analog. Like this sort of stick that you push around, right? Because sometimes people will struggle with what I'll call like fluid motions or like circular motions. So for example, if you're on like a hitbox and you play Zangief and you're trying to learn how to do like his super like 720 SPD, it's more intuitive to just grab this stick and churn the butter a bunch of times than it is to like try to figure out how to do circles on this. Like you'll, you'll figure it out, you'll get adjusted to it. But like, it's just more intuitive to spin this in a circle and be like, okay, I guess I roll my fingers to the right three times, right? And what some players will find, especially if they're using something like a hitbox or a mix up is that like on one side, they'll be really comfortable rolling their fingers. Like for example, from their ring finger towards their index finger, but it will feel less intuitive and harder to do in the opposite direction. So that's just something to, to keep in mind. But overall, I think, you know, again, you should think about what your own goals are. You know, are you trying to be the best player in the world or do you just want to be able to enjoy playing online? Uh, you know, if you are pushing yourself to the very, very top, maybe I would recommend switching to an SOCD enabling controller and like really grinding on it. But if, you are just wanting to enjoy yourself then just just keep using what you're using man you know it's it's really not that big of a deal but thank you everybody for watching if you have another topic that you want me to talk about or cover just let me know down in the comments i'm always looking at them for new video ideas i really appreciate everybody's feedback so far it's been great all right peace